Hey, what's up? This is Marty Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to make the little feature on the side. As you can see, I'm, um, there's no Windows 7 logo. It's just the MD from my Marty Tech, and I'll prove to you that I'm running Windows 7. As you can see, Windows 7 Ultimate at 64-bit. And how I did this is I got this little program, and I extracted it and ran the application. I'll go through all the detail later. But first you're just gonna download the little file called windows.zip. You can extract it and you're gonna get these two files. So start.csv for your Photoshop and your W dot seven S V C and you're just gonna open you're gonna open your start.psd file. Let Photoshop run. It's okay. You can get a little image with three transparent bubbles. What you can do is you can fill in with your image three times. So I'm gonna take my logo right here. Say Control A, Control C. Logo can pretty much be any size. Photoshop will render it to the best of its ability. Let me put it like right. Here and now I'm just gonna go in and take this, spread it out a little. Okay, that you can see control is A, control C, control V, and V again. There you have it. Now I just take one layer, oops, get your pointer tool, take one layer, go down, cover it up all the white. Same thing to cover up all the white. Take your, your middle layer, the middle logo, and make an outer glow. The color you want, I want red. Okay. And he's going to make the spread good size and the size. Good fit. Say okay. Same thing with the bottom logo. Take your outer glow. Take your negative color. I'm going to choose red. Okay. Then we're going to choose red and the size. Good deal. Okay. And now we're going to save as a PMP file. And say okay. Make sure it's Windows and 32 bit. Say okay. And then we're going to exit out of that. And then you're going to see your start.bmp file and or whatever name you saved it as. You're going to launch your W7 SVC file folder and you're going to see your Windows 7 start button changer version 2.0. Open that up. And right now you see my current logo is my MD. You can click on the original Windows logo. Say OK to that. And you see where we saved it, go there and open up the file, say open. And there it is. There is your logo. Open it up and you can see it works. Like I said it would. And if you want to restore it to the original, just click on the restore root holder and it's back to normal. See? That's simple. And that's it. Link is in the description to download this folder right here, windows.zip. And go to my site, marketech.tk, for more information. And follow me, twitter.com, forward slash marketech.com. Subscribe up on top. And rate, like this video. Okay, that's it. Uh, check back in for more videos.